Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Um, welcome. This is our eighth episode of Ms. Shelved, our vlog from the Robbins Library. I'm Maura. I'm Linda. And today we're going to talk about humor. humor. Funny books. Funny books. Fiction and nonfiction. Yep. So we each have two recommendations. So my first book that I'm going to talk about is Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Tell me about this. Well, it's so popular. Yeah, so she's uh, she's awesome. Um, this is like her funniest book, I would say. Um, so there's a, a parents trivia night um, <coughs> at Pirrui Public School in Australia, and it ended in tragedy after um, a lot of tension between some of the parents that had been building up for months. And it began when one mother uh, accused this other mother of, well, really uh, accused her child of bullying her kid. Mm. And she hmm. started up a petition to have this child removed from kindergarten. Um, and it really kind of exploded from there. Um, and so it's focused on these three mothers um, as we learn, you know, the story of what's going on in their lives and how it resulted in a murder. And you don't know who was murdered until the end, even though you know that something, oh, that there oh, was a murder at the beginning. That's interesting. So um, one Goodreads review, just the entire review says, probably the funniest book about murder and domestic abuse I'll ever read. And I think that's a really perfect summary because there are some serious issues here, murder, domestic abuse, bullying, um, but it's hilarious. And that's not to say that those issues aren't treated with seriousness and respect because they are. I mean, those are like, they're big issues. Um, but the characters are just so real and their perspectives and actions um, and narratives just made me laugh so mm. much while reading this. Interesting. And that's um, being, uh, it's going to be on HBO, right? A miniseries? Yes. Did I see that? Yes, I believe Reese so. Reese Witherspoon is producing? Yeah, so yeah. Um, that is something to look forward yeah, to. The but the book, definitely read it before you see it because the book is great. Yeah. So what do you have to tell us about? Uh, well, I'll also tell you about my novel, which is Where'd You Go Burn a Debt? Uh, Maria Semple is a vlog favorite. We've mentioned mm. her before probably yeah. this book. Um, so this book came out in, uh, I think, 2013. She was a writer for Arrested Development. So it has that sort mm. of like kind of witty, satirical, maybe a little yes. absurd um, sort of sense. Um, and this book's a bit of a, a caper. And it's told through emails um, from Bernadette to the school, to parents mm. in the neighborhood, um, through her virtual assistant in India, uh, as well as like FBI documents, mm -hmm. like hospital records. Um, but it all is sort of strung together in this um, kind of uh, dossier that her daughter B puts together mm -hmm. um, when she's trying to find where Bernadette went mm -hmm. um, and kind of figure out who her mother is. Um, all the characters are really witty. It's sort of set mm -hmm. in contemporary Seattle. I think helicopter parents, like techno, you know, genius dads, mm -hmm. eco-conscious neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, it's all really funny and witty and sharp, um, the writing. And it, it's also sweet because in the end it's really about a mother and daughter mm -hmm. and their relationship. Yeah. I love that book also. I recommend it a um, lot. And I just wanted to share one line that I really love, um, which New Englanders could probably appreciate as well. Um, can you believe the weather? And I want to say, actually, I can believe the weather. What I can't believe is that I'm actually having a conversation about the weather. Yes. Um, so I think that sentence kind of just sums up the, the biting humor in mm -hmm. uh, Where Did You Go, Bernadette? Yeah. That's great. Yes. My um, other book fell down. <laughs> so my second uh, choice here is <coughs> Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh, um, which is a book of um, essays in comic form. Um, and she has a, a blog that's also called Hyper Hyperbole and a Half, um, but there's a lot of content in here that's not on the blog. So if you have read the blog, it's definitely worth picking up the book also. Um, there are very few books that actually really make me laugh out loud, and this one does every time I read it. I've probably read this one story called Adventures in Depression like 12 times, and every single time I just mm. crack up. It's so funny. Um, she's just so recognizably like human, and like they're just things that we can all identify with in various parts of these essays. Um, and some are like serious topics like depression, but then others are just about like, you know, her dog who she characterizes as, as simple um, and his terrible behavior or just about like you know adulting like that mm. kind of thing um, and her drawing style is it's very simple but incredibly expressive so I'm just gonna show you a little sample so here's a page where she's trying to teach her dog to sit um, and the dog is very confused as they sometimes are um, and then there's another you might have actually seen 
um, this image with the clean all the things because it sort of turned into a meme. Um, I don't think I've seen that. But it's, yeah, oh, it's it's just, okay. this is just very, they're just very, very funny. Um, so I actually own a copy of this at home and I just pick it up like every time I feel like I need to be cheered up. So it's just, it's just like one of my favorite, like, you know, um, books that I turn to when I, when I just really want a good laugh. Yeah, and I think that's um, a lot of nonfiction collections mm -hmm. are, are good for that because it's generally not yeah. like a long story, but little things you can dip into here and there. Mm -hmm. Like, is everyone hanging out without me? By Mindy Kaling. Mm -hmm. um, so this came out in 2012, the same month um, as our TV show, The Mending mm -hmm. Project, aired. And this is just really witty observations about um, uh, it was about her early 20s and kind of um, coming of age, um, her teen years, kind of being an awkward, an awkward, you know, Indian American comedy nerd mm. kid in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, and into her 20s about love and relationships and work and, you know, settling into her career. And she um, was also a writer on The Office. Um, two of my favorite essays are, there's one about, um, it's called, uh, how I write, um, and it's talking about her house, and she shows, um, you know, the picture of her beautiful office that she built, um, and where she actually writes, in bed, <laughs> just like lounging. So, um, and also then, you know, this picture it says like, you know, just like how I look like I'm writing, but of course that's not that's not it. Um, but there, you know, that essay is just you know a few pages long, and it's something that you can just sort of like mm -hmm. dip into. Um, and for folks who also love comedy, this is great because it talks, she has one that's 11 moments in comedy. So it mm. kind of shows her background mm -hmm. and how she has got her chops. Um, um, also really funny one about the truth about rom-coms. So mm. I, yeah, this is good. You can just pick up and dip into little essays here and there. I, I recommend mm. it. It's good for traveling. Yeah, I, I find there's a lot of like nonfiction that's really funny because I think sometimes just in life, it's like, oh man, you can't make this stuff up, right? Right, like, <laughs> yes, yeah. And like with funny ladies, you know, Tina yeah. Fey, Amy Poehler, yep. they yeah. all, there's, there's a nice tradition of funny ladies writing funny yeah. books. Well, so you should all run out and get these books or run here to the library and get them. Yes, um, I'll put them back on the shelf. Yeah, I'll put mine back on the shelf as well. And I think that's it for today. That is. And we're not sure what our next episode's going to be about, so it will be a surprise to all of us. Yes, yeah. So look for that in January 2017. Mm -hmm. all, all right. right. Bye for now. Thanks. Bye.